Trauma is a term we use for people that um, we feel have gone through something very significant. But when we look at trauma, it is actually a very normal event that uh, most people go through or meet in their lives. Um, a traumatic event is an event where something happens that is too much for our nervous system to hold and to contain um, in a certain, at a certain moment of time. Uh, essentially, we distinguish between two types of trauma. One is shock trauma and the other one is developmental trauma. In shock trauma, like an accident or an earthquake or anything like that, we are actually met with an event that we don't have enough time to uh, prepare for. Um, and in developmental trauma, we talk about events that happen over a longer period of time again and again and again and uh, something happens to our nervous system and it, uh, it dysregulates, it get, gets disorganized within our uh, own system and this uh, feeling of trapped energy, of um, limited movement is actually the result. And this is also the reason why dealing with trauma is actually a very important uh, part of any healing process because what it does it restores a certain integrity into our in into our body um, as long as traumatic imprints are carried in the body there is also a certain tension um, that is carried in the body and uh, this tension has uh, different consequences. First of all, there is usually a certain kind of um, unease or a difficulty in relaxation that uh, we carry with us. Um, but of course, if, uh, if traumatic events uh, have had a stronger impact on our lives, uh, we tend to also build a certain character around that trauma because we don't want to meet a certain event again. We want to refrain from feeling the same emotions again. Of course, when we look at uh, the origins of trauma, it is a very normal part of life. All of us have either lost close people to ourselves or have had, were involved or have had accidents um, or were in situations of war or were part of some kind of a natural disaster or have fallen um, in ways that were uncontrolled. Which means that exposure to traumatic events is a natural part of life and our willingness and ability to see trauma in this natural way is an important step to working with the trauma and releasing it. In our lives we are meeting potentially traumatic events every day. We can cross the street and uh, be almost run over by a car. So our whole nervous system gets activated and uh, we might quickly run across the street and the body knows that the event is over and knows how to regulate itself again. How we actually define trauma is when we cannot react quickly enough to an event um, and that energy that we would have used to run away or to fight or um, to freeze in that moment all gets stuck inside the body. The interesting part here is that we oftentimes judge the way we react to a traumatic event. We judge the way we behave after a fall or after an accident or after an attack, after an abuse. 
we judge our own selves, we feel shame and guilt many times. And these uh, very strong feelings keep us actually away from healing something that is a very natural course of life. These things happen and, um, and, and the way we deal with them actually creates many times the traumatic imprint. What trauma needs is a release, uh, a discharge because during the traumatic event a lot of energy is stored in the body and does not get released. When we look at animals who are in, living in the wild and who are um, exposed to life-threatening situations every day, what we see once they actually come out of an attack or um, out of a life-threatening situation they actually discharge that energy very naturally. They take the time to release all the energy that is trapped in the body until they come back to a normal balanced state. We as humans, because we judge the events that actually happen to us, um, we don't allow ourselves that time. And so that energy remains stuck in our bodies. Because of the stigma the word trauma carries um, in society, many times people will not want to expose the fact that they experience a traumatic event and will carry those um, feelings and those fears and that charge in the body that is a result of that traumatic event with them for years. What we do in trauma therapy is we work with this extra charge or this excess charge that is trapped in the body and we discharge it in a controlled and in a paced way. In a way where the body is not overwhelmed again, where it's not threatened again. and what this kind of a trauma therapy does, it restores a certain integrity and feeling of safeness in the body.